channel and today I'm really excited to have my friend here as my very first collab so I'll just have him introduce himself. Hi, uh, my name is Nick Beck and I am from Minnesota. And Nick Beck is one of my friends from uh, the program that I study here in the Netherlands and yeah, don't really know how we actually became friends but we just did and it's Haven't regretted it ever since. No, so no, it's probably no. It's probably important, you know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and what we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> and what we're gonna do today is, I mean, I don't really know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sit down, have a little chit chat, see where it goes, because we have pretty good conversations. We do. We always really do end up having um, a conversation that just goes all over the place. And sometimes it can get too deep. Too deep. I would say. It can get too deep. It can get really like, we can Weird. talk about music, we can talk about really anything, you know. And it's, I'm gonna actually ask you a couple of questions. Right? Okay. If you were to um, automatically just be in a different place at like anywhere in the world, where would you go to right now in this second? And what would you be doing? Right now, I would mm -hmm. go to Milan because I just can't wait for that. Like, I'm going to Milan for my exchange semester. So, if I could be anywhere, I would go there because I've never been there. It's just gonna be so chill. Like, time is gonna pass by so slow because you're just sitting there in a cafe drinking a cappuccino, people watching. Or actually, in reality, they're probably talking smack about somebody else. <laughs> and you, it's just in Italian, so you can't understand. When like, I have this like stereotypical picture of like what people do in Milan and what they actually do. Yeah, so yeah. Expectations versus people. reality. I lived in Italy. I lived in Italy for a year. So I lived mm. in Milan um, with my with a host family. So I lived. Um, I've lived all around there, and I've traveled all around there, and I love Milan. So I'm excited to see her succeed there. So. Puke in that river. Puke in the Navigli, which is like a very important part of the Milanese culture. Yeah. Everybody who's anybody has done that. And if it happens, <laughs> you're the first one I'll tell. Yes! Actually. Please, please. Actually, if I were to go anywhere, I would probably, in this moment, I want to go to, like, like South Africa. I want to be like in Cape Town, and it's like chilling on the beach. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to go there for like... The wild scene. The, the wild, wild scene. The wild, the wild animals. Scene. No, know? I want to go there. I just want to go there to be in the beach in South Africa. I think that would be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally looking at my Codex right now. I mean, I really, really like Codex. Mm -hmm. How much are those actually? They're like, I got them for 10 euros. They were on discount. But it's 27 plus 12 free photos, so you get 39. And that's free quick math. That's wrong math. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I literally have to check and be like, it must be 39. I just saw like this look of fright in your eye. You're just like, wait, what? Like, did I really not do simple addition right? See, this is why I'm not in the business study. Yeah. Just, that's why we communicate. Stop. Because <laughs> we can't do math. We only got the dot and not the walk. <laughs> not at not all. A, not at all. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Now. Okay. Um, a simple question. What was your most embarrassing moment? Okay. Ever. Okay. Well, the most embarrassing moment ever for me was, um, uh, when I was in when I was in Italy. Um, I was going like on a day trip the next morning so I was staying over at a, or I was staying over at a friend's house in Cremona and um, two of my other friends were at two other people's houses mm -hmm. um, they were all sleeping there but I was sleeping at my friend's house and at six o'clock in the morning I had to go upstairs and take a shower but I didn't know like where the bathroom was <laughs> and it was pitch black and nobody had told me like, nobody had told me where the bathroom was 
I'm sorry, but I'm already laughing. And so six o'clock in the morning, I had to like sneak up these stairs in pitch blackness, trying to find like the bathroom. And so I had to like s like sneakily like look into every single. Like... Were you naked? No, no, I wasn't okay. naked. No, no, and um, I was fully clothed, and I was like looking into like the doors, trying to find the bathroom. And eventually, like I turn a corner. And I see that, or I hear what seems to be like bathroom sounds coming from the bathroom, right? And there's like the sound of like a sink turning on or whatever. And I just stand there, like I cough to make some noise to let the person know that I was there. <laughs> and apparently whoever was in there didn't hear me. Because when they walked out, it was my host mom, completely naked. <laughs> or it wasn't, no, it was my friend's host mom. It was my friend's host mom, completely naked. Like, she walked in, she was like, ah, oh, got so, ah! Oh. oh my god. And, and she was like, oh my god! And I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god! And then I, we had to eat breakfast together. While... Well, my, she knew that I knew you knew. That I had seen her naked earlier that morning. And it was so awkward. Even I'm feeling uncomfortable right now. Like, I can't imagine being in that situation. Can you imagine what she w she would have felt at that time? <laughs> six six o'clock in the morning, like some American dude is just standing there seeing you naked. It's like what? <laughs> and you probably just looked so innocent as well. Just like just, hello. <laughs> she's like hello. <laughs> trying to find the bathroom. Like, did you knock on the door? Well, no, because I think that like I I just tried like coughing loudly so she would hear me. She probably had the shower on. So no, no, it was like there was the oh, only really? sounds that were coming out were like. The sounds of water, like, leaving the sink and stuff. What about you? What's yours? Um, definitely the Wizard of Oz thing that I told you about before. <laughs> I just want to cry talking about this. So, we had, um, a show for the entire school. Um, I, I was casted. I wasn't even casted. I was already in to be like the jitterbug for the Wizard of Oz and a ghost because I was like doing like after school ballet like with my dance class and they just needed dancers for that thing. So yeah, it was a musical and I think it was during like the ghost scene where we all had to come out and do a dance. It was when Dorothy was heading up to the castles. And that's where all, like, the ghosts were. Oh, like, after, like, like after she's, like, taken or something? Where she she's was, in the castle? She, yeah, when she just arrives at the castle. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember right? that. There remember are that. ghosts yeah. or something. Yeah. So yeah. I was one of the ghosts, and I was, like, in the, in the front. Like, our costume was just, um, like, a leotard, like, a navy one. And obviously like ballet stockings but we have these like skirts that were like just pieces of fabric like gray fabric so it looks kind of like a hula skirt but gray something like that yeah. and bigger pieces of fabric and you had to tie that around your waist with the fabric that there was like there was no elastic band or anything so it's only tied on the fabric yeah, like, they have pieces of fabric that you could tie the skirt off and oh. then, like, take off. So I didn't realize that uh, the knot wasn't tight enough, so it was, like, pretty loose. And I was about to start the show. I was like, this is it. And this was, like, the last round. This was when all everyone was there. Yeah. Parents and the really... Prime shining moments. <laughs> yeah, like, really important people there. <laughs> My skirt came off and literally the entire orchestra in front of me was like... <gasps> <laughs> And this happened right before the music came on, so I was literally like, okay, this is so embarrassing. And then the music came on, so I was like, okay, you know, you got the, you gotta act confident, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get on with the show. I was being very mature for my age. I was 10 or 11 at that time, so I was dancing, so I was like, you know what, I'm just trying to do a ghost dance on my skirt. So, and my friends helped me, and they were like, fuck, and they were like, okay, let's just all create this circle around him and everyone was like whoa whoa so they created a circle in, like around me so that I could just tie up my skirt again and it was fine but um my sister was like working as like the ticket person or something along those lines 
And uh, my sister asked her friend who was in the orchestra, I was like, oh, you know, my sister was in the show. And he was like, yeah, wasn't she the one whose skirt came off? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, oh yeah, but, like that's my sister. So she was equally as embarrassed because I'm, I'm known as the one uh, whose skirt came off. And like I was only wearing a stocking and like leotards. That's so, <laughs> so sad. That's so sad. That's that was funny. so embarrassing That's for so an eleven year old. I was oh. about to enter middle school, okay? I was about to uh. reach my prime years. Your prime years in middle school? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Twelve to fourteen, those are my prime years. I cannot say the same. That was when I had puberty and I was extra bitchy and popular <laughs> popularity was all I ever cared about. Oh. Uh. That wasn't you? No, that was I was just like like acne covered. Listening to K-pop. You listen to K-pop? I listen okay, to K-pop. Okay, which ones? Because I did too, so... Uh, to anyone. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Big Bang. <laughs> no. No, stop. That's super genius. You know, yeah. you know the song Fire? To anyone? Or just... Hey, 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 To anyone. <laughs> Like, literally, K-pop wasn't famous in the States then. You were exotic. I know, I know. This is, like, before, like, Gangnam Style. Like, that was... This is, like... This is two... Twenty... Yo, yo, yo. It's 2010, <laughs> yo. It was, like... Oh, my God. It was, like, gosh. Lupin or something like that. Lupin by... Yes, yes. Um, um, I know it. I know it. Stop. Um, fuck. Fuck. Whoa. No, stop it. Stop. Kara. It was by Kara. <laughs> Not our classmate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, her classmate does K-pop on the side. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, it is. Is it? Tara. Is it? Yes. Tara yes, and it was so intense. <laughs> Should we pause it so we can listen to it? Yeah. Three hours later. That was like the same year that okay, we were so listening like, to that. Okay, so like K-pop was literally booming yeah. at that time. Like it still is in Thailand, and K-pop was. All that everyone ever listened to so every year in the talent show mm -hmm. we would have like different groups of people who would just get together mm -hmm. and do like a k-pop cover dance <laughs> and it was just the, the entire talent show was just that can you imagine like we got some girls generation here and there we got some um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got like 21 super junior wait it was just covers yeah, like, you would just copy their but, dance off, like, their dance versions of their music yeah, videos. Yeah. And you just applied for the talent show. And, you know, it being, like, K-pop, you know, it was just cultural. My school yeah. fully supported that. <laughs> so That is crazy. I think I still have a video on YouTube of me doing a K-pop dance. Wait, stop. That still exists. I uploaded like my other friends like girls generation dance as well mm -hmm. it was insane because we even had the, like the same outfits it was like a cult K-pop mm -hmm. was a good time it still is a good time I just don't like I, I just, just don't, don't know the songs yeah. anymore but yeah it's like once you're in that culture you are heavily in that <laughs> culture <laughs> like you are deep within like the K-pop <laughs> culture <laughs> Literally, it's though. so true. It's because like once I stopped listening to it, I just I just didn't listen to it for years. But I when I did, it, it was all I listened. Yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really liked it. Me too. And then like once I got into high school, people started listening to like indie and you mm. know all these things. So mm. you know, you got you gotta detach yourself from your K-pop self in order to fit in with what everyone else was listening to so like when people ask you know like what music are you into you know you don't want to be like okay pop, okay, pop. <laughs> because they're just like you're so 2010 right now yeah. and you just want to get with the time but deep yeah. down inside there's still a part of you that likes the k-pop you know like if you turn on a song i will know the most i will know but you know like nobody like absolutely nobody knew it in otana like, I would just be... And no was, one knows it here. Yeah, nobody knows it here. It was just crazy. You know, I'd try and show my friends and be like, uh, excuse like, me. Like, I didn't know that you knew it. 
until like now? this video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's also almost out. Wrong. Oh my god, we're Thank running you. out of time. We're running out of time. Bye! Oh my god. So, I'm sorry about that, but this pretty much marks the end of my vlog. We ran out of battery and we couldn't film the rest of the Liberation Day festival that we did go to after filming this video. So, yeah. Um, Nick is a really great friend of mine, and right now he's back in Minnesota for the summer. I won't see him until after my exchange program. So Nick, I know this is a late video, so if you see this, hi, I miss you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. So if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next vlog. And don't forget to go click subscribe to Nick's very own YouTube channel, which is called Beck in Black. So B-E-C-K in Black. You won't regret it. There's always good vibes on there. I promise you.